EF Installation Step-by-Step -step Spigot Joint Welding When joining by electrofusion, the use of appropriate tooling is crucial for the welding of long-lasting, reliable joints. Our recommended toolbox includes the following items. A sharpened hand scraper for small diameter pipe. A measuring tool. An indelible marker. A spanner. A pipe centralizer. A rational pipe cutter. Lint-free wipes. Rerounding devices. Special cleaning solution for PE welding. A rational scraper. Electrofusion welding machine. And a high quality Borfit fitting in its original packaging. Sand and mud shorten the lives of cutting blades and should therefore be avoided. The first thing to do is to clean the pipe with water in order to remove abrasives from the surface. Don't forget to dry the pipe with a lint-free cloth. The correct cutting tool will give you a good joint and also a clean and square cut. We recommend you to use pipe shears for small diameter pipes and rotational pipe cutting tools for large diameters. The pipe must be measured and marked to prepare for scraping. Measure half the length of the fitting. Add 2 cm and mark the pipe. When using the hand scraper, mark the pipe as shown here. Good scraping will make those marks disappear. When you're done, chamfer the end for easy pipe insertion and make sure to remove all the scrapings. Mark the pipe this way when using a rotational scraper. Make sure all the marks disappear. And don't forget to chamfer the pipe in to remove the sharp edges. At this point, it's important to mark the true insertion or the stab depth. Measure the length from pipe stops to fitting end and mark it on the pipe. Oval pipe can be an obstacle to forming a high quality joint. Much of the pipe we encounter is not perfectly round and rerounding is therefore an essential step of the process. This is especially true with large diameter pipe. As shown here, clamps are placed close to the insertion depth mark in order to reround the pipe end. The final step before installation is cleaning and degreasing. This is performed with a special cleaning solution for PE electrofusion welding, as any other fluid may do damage to the joint. To apply the solution, Use clean lint, scratch-free wipes, or wipes made from fabric or paper. It is absolutely necessary to clean all the welding surfaces. Once these surfaces have been cleaned, you should not touch them with your hands. Since a clean, dry surface is fundamental to good welding practice, Borfit provides fittings in sealed plastic bags. Remove the fitting from its original packaging only when you are ready to degrease it and install it on the prepared pipe. We recommend that you clean the fitting as well, even when it is in original packaging.
Be sure the pipe is fully inserted into the fitting by checking the location of the stab depth marking as shown. Borfit recommends the use of a paper centralizer for the dual purpose of relieving stress in the joint and preventing joint movement during fusion. Use of pipe centralizers reduces the risk of short circuits and ensures trouble-free fusion. Also, be sure to cover the ends of the pipe as shown to prevent the uncontrolled movement of air during welding. Now that we've completed the preliminary steps, we turn our attention to Electrofusion welding machine and generator. First, make sure the fuel tank of generator is full. Then start up the generator. This is important for making sure that welding is not interrupted. Connect the Electrofusion welding machine to generator. Then connect the terminals to the fitting. The fusion time may be set by a self-recognition resistor. Other options include a barcode reader and manual input. The correct fusion time is shown on the barcode label on each fitting. Be sure to check that the fusion time in the controller screen is identical to fusion time on the barcode label. For the duration of fusion, cooling the joint is sensitive and should be left undisturbed. Leave pipe centralizer and re-rounders in place. At the end of fusion, you may carefully remove the terminals, making certain not to move the fitting. Take good care of the terminal ends and cables. They carry high current loads and should be kept clean and dry. The correct cooling times shown on the barcode label on each fitting. At the end of the cooling, you may dismantle the rerounding equipment and pipe centralizer. When fusion is complete, mark the dismantling time on fitting. This is equal to the present time of day plus the cooling time. Since pressure testing requires low temperatures in the joint, we recommend waiting four times the cooling time after fusion before beginning pressure testing. Get it right the first time. If you follow the instructions in this short film, you should achieve excellent long-lasting joints. Turan Borfit, your risk-free choice in welding machines. Our representatives are always at your service.